Hey guys, um, sorry for the long wait, I guess I could say, but I'm finally back uh, with another review, and this time I'm reviewing Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Barricade, as he appeared in the very first Transformers movie from 2007. And as you can see, Barricade here is a Ford Sailing Mustang S281, which he looks really, really, um, cool to be this, um, police car, but anyway... As you can see, let's get to the details. As you can see, really nice uh, paint on the silver, which I should have said it the other way around, but you know, really nice uh, silver print right there on those little lights right there. Headlights right here, uh, even though they're black and he really doesn't have headlights, I guess I could say, but bull bar right here in the front, which this bull bar is all rubber. Um, wish they used a plastic one, but I get why they had to make it rubber because safety and all that. But, you know, all black with the white doors. And hopefully it can fo it can focus. Um, but, obviously it says uh, police right there with uh, uh, the Subticon logo. I can't even talk. <laughs> well, I think I might say sheriff. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, it says sheriff. So, my bad. Police, all silver right there. White doors. And my favorites. Quote right here, to punish and enslave. It, I know it should say uh, to protect and serve, but, you know, he's a Decepticon, so to punish and enslave. 643, emergency number one. 643 on the top. Police on his spoiler. Red uh, tail lights here painted. And hopefully anyone can see that, but it does say Saline, since he is a Saline Mustang. Same that goes on the side, and... Forgot to mention the bull bar with red and blue lights. And, oh well, yeah, he's a really, really cool um, Ford Mustang. And he does have clear windows. Uh, no limo tinted ones, but yeah, really a uh, cool Mustang. Uh, he does roll, I mean, sort of, because uh, this is a wooden uh, hard surface. And he won't roll that well if um, I even try to roll him. I mean, he, his tires do roll. Really nice rims, I guess. But yeah, really, really awesome uh, police car. He does come with an uh, accessory, that being whatever this thing is. I call it the spinning spike wheel or something like that. But it does spin, um, doesn't spin that well because I had this guy sitting on my um, shelf for so long. But yeah, it does spin. And it can't store, there is a little, a little hole underneath the car and this can slide in although I have trouble trying to slide it in but once you get it on you have why would a police car have this I don't know but you know you can have it it does still spin and you can obviously attack Autobots with it but anyway that's about it for um his vehicle mode. Oh, and before I get to the transformation, I'm gonna let everyone know that I had really, really bad times with this guy. Not in his robot mode, but mostly in his uh, his transformation to vehicle mode because I had a tough, tough time trying to get this guy transformed in his police car. Mostly in his arms and back here to tab it into the uh, roof section here. And I remember that there was an easy fix um, to, uh, you know, not tab in the uh, doors to the legs. And I don't remember what that was, but the easy fix was to obviously snip off these tabs. And it would make it easier for the transformation because obviously it won't interfere with the transformation of the vehicle mode. And I, it was an easy time, sort of. And also, if you notice that my setup was a little different, it's because I lost my tripod. I could not find it anywhere, so this is a little different now. So, you guys will have to deal with this now. So, anyway, enough talking. So, let's get to the transformation now, shall we? And, oops, it won't hold up. So, let's get to his transformation. So to do that first, we're gonna have to pull these off, and 
I always hate pulling these off. Uh, pull the doors off to the side. Pull these up. These are going to become his arms. So we'll pull that off and pull this off. Yeah, see what I mean? I always have a tough time with this guy. So try to pull off his arm. And it won't come off. Why? All right, there we go. All right, pull off his arm. And don't do that yet. His legs here. Pull these down. Pull these down. Untap them, actually. Pull that down. That's going to become his leg. And his foot, I should say. Pull this up. And if you heard that, that was something that fell. So don't bother or asking me. Or maybe you want to. Maybe not. Who knows? Alright. Flip up his hood. Fold that up. That's going to show his face right there. Look at his face. Look at it. But. Stand him up. Although he's not going to stand. And because I'm going to um, explain a little bit of things about him when I get him into robot mode. Fold that down. That's going to become his crotch. Fold these down. Pull the windows down. I forgot to show that on that side, but pull this down. Fold this door up. Well, wait, before you do that, I forgot to do this. Fold out his hand, which is in there. Fold this out. We'll fold that down. Fold that down. Fold down the door, uh, the door, the window. And fold up his arm. And then we got an arm. All done. So, same thing here. Not going to do Emgo's line. So, forget that. Fold that up. Well, not, I always keep forgetting. Fold out his hand. And fold this out. And this will fold down too. Fold up his arm. And there we got his arms. All done. So, finish up. These things, I don't know if anyone can see them because they're black. But, push this down, push this down, and fold this up, and fold this up. And then you got his weird looking crotch. Uh, his crotch? His chest. Why do I always keep saying crotch? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Something's wrong with me. Someone help. Fold up his head. As I said, but we're not done because now we got to deal with this. So, push this up. Yeah, I have a tough time doing this. Push this up. Hopefully, anyone can see this. Because this needs to be pushed up. Rotate this around. And then take this. Rotate. Okay, then. I wasn't expecting that to happen. That's the first time that's ever happened to me in a barricade toy, but. Anyway, take this, rotate this around, although this is going to be a little tricky because it's on a ball joint and I don't like doing crap like this. So, try your best to get this thing out of the way of the ball bar. You know what? I think I should have done this. I'm a dummy. So, fold this out. Let's take this around, actually. And then... Just fold this up. And if I could get it in there... Come on. I might pop off the ball joint off this thing again. Because I always have a tough time with... Like I said, I told you guys. I always have a tough time with this guy. He's not... I'm not going to say he's my least, uh, I'm not going to say he's not my favorite, because I actually enjoy this guy, uh, a lot, but, I say, but like I said, I don't enjoy his transformation the most. I rather enjoy other transformations on other Transformers than this guy, and it happened again, so, I'm just going to... I really don't want to get mad on camera, you guys. Because this thing always upsets me. So, you know what? 
I'm gonna do it the easy way. Just pop in the ball joint on top of it. So, if it wants to, that is. There we go. So yeah, much easier instead of doing whatever I was doing earlier. So sorry for the so sorry for the interruption there. And oh, great, always oh, keep doing this. But once you get everything good, and hmm, I'm trying to see if everything's good, but yeah. But once we get him all standing up, there you have barricade. And the last thing to do is to pop his finger out. There you go, because I always have that. So I always have this finger out. Not this one, it's meant for his uh, weapon. But there you have barricade. And is robot mode and i really think his robot mode is pretty cool uh although like i said tough time with the transformation but you know he's a really cool robot so let's get to the details here as you can see real nice detail on the face all silver with some gold um some on his mouth and here some red eyes and some blue on his forehead, even though I don't think I remember him having some blue over him. And his chest there, even though it's all black, because you guys can't see that. Real nice detail on his legs. Some nice silver on his feet. And obviously here is his arms. Real nice detail on his arms. And yeah, really, really uh, nice. Uh, Barricade figure, even though, and he wants to fall because he keeps interrupting my sentences. But for articulation, you know, head can rotate uh, 360 degrees, can look uh, sort of up and down, but not fully. His arms can rotate uh, 360 degrees, can go up and down. Obviously, it does have a bend, but I have trouble doing the bend. Nothing in the hands does not have a uh, waist section legs move forward and back but due to the backpack bend at the knee and no ankle pivot but his feet can do this i mean forward and back and now overall that's about it for his articulation and now for his weapon it, it can sit in his hand or he can hold his weapon, obviously, I should say. Because, but in order for him to do that, you tab in his uh, finger right here. Which makes this little hole. And then obviously, you can hold it. You know I have. And, there he is holding his weapon. Which, you know, looks good on him. And yeah, that is it for my review of Barricade. Overall, um, he's a good figure. He's really a cool guy in the first movie. He, but I have trouble with him uh, transforming him into vehicle mode, which is not my favorite. That's the one thing I um, dislike about this guy. But overall, I really do enjoy this figure now. Hopefully, um, Hasbro, which, um, been waiting for one, um, after the one we got for 2017, as in this guy from the last night, I really wish, um, Hasbro can actually do, and hopefully they do, a Studio Series Last Night Barricade, which I would love to get one of those, if they ever made one, if they announced it, but, it's gonna take a while for them to do that, and it's gonna take a while for them to announce, but anyway... You know, and you know, that is it. Um, that's it for my review of Barricade. So, 
Yeah, uh, I might review the upcoming Rise of the Beast figures that will come out pretty soon. Um, and you know, it is what it is. But anyway, that's all for the review of Barricade, and I'll see you guys in the next video.